We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this important bulletin from the United Press. Flash, Washington. The White House announces Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Six minutes after nine, the formation went over. All five released at the same time. We thought it was an Army Air Corps playing tricks on us. But they used to do that on occasion. They'd come by and, and dive bomb us and drop flower sacks on us. Of course, when these bombs start falling and the airplanes pulled up, we could see, realize they were Japanese. So then it was a matter of self-preservation. Get undercover somewhere. Bro, the planes were already diving on the battle line. And I saw one of the planes turn off. Rising sun on the fuselage and wind and my God, those were Japanese planes. We were fighting in our tropical uniform, many of us. Shorts and t-shirts. Not the way to go to combat. They learned that in a hurry. Suddenly a bunch of aerial torpedo bombers, the Cates, came by and started dropping off aerial torpedoes. A whole bunch of them were going to hit the Oklahoma and the West Virginia. The one that hit our ship just happened to be where we were. The first thing I knew was I was flat on my face and my arms were in front of me. And they looked funny. They were all purple and bloody and peeled. What I remember the most about it, and probably the noise, tremendous noise and concussion, when the Shaw exploded over the Navy. The concussion from that was so severe, it actually blew me against the side of the hangar. Everything stopped after about an hour. We thought it was over with. Got out, started milling around, surveying the damage, of course, it was in mass turmoil. A lot of the people were dead already off the Oklahoma. Some were badly burned, some badly wounded, and some were just tired because it got blown off the ship or jumped off and had to get ashore. First, it wasn't too long, the second wave come over. Back in the ditch. Uh, that lasted about another hour. Once in a while I get asked, do you ever do you keep in touch with the other fellows for the antenna repair squad? And my answer is not yet. Every day above ground is a good one. <laughs> 